Hi everyone, hope you're all well. Happy Halloween. I love Halloween. I love everything about it. Um, the one thing is you end up normally, if you're me, with a lot of pumpkins. And some of them, like this big one, we're going to cut out and you know it's going to be in the house and get normally gets you know a little bit yucky after a while, so we just have to throw them out. But these smaller ones, like the onion ones and the harlequin one. Um, they're just for decoration and I'm not going to cut holes in that one so instead of just throwing it away I'm going to make um, sort of a pumpkin fermented little sort of jammy type thing that you could use either on sort of a, a raw pumpkin pie maybe or you could use it sometimes I eat it with a little bit of cheese vegan cheese or cow's cheese anything works quite well with that and or just you know with a meal it has all the amazing friendly bacteria that we need in that and it's also a little bit of a fun thing because it's going to stay orange so it's it's a nice sort of color to you know add to everything else at the table so this is what you need a small pumpkin I'm using an onion pumpkin that normally works quite well you also need, you know, your water, filtered water, and your salt, so Himalayan crystal salt or ordinary sea salt. And you need about, as norm normally we do it, one liter of water to 20 grams of salt. But this one I think needs a little bit more salt, so I'm going to use 25 grams of salt to one liter. Also for the ferment I'm using a little bit of black tea, just a, a pinch, and also one tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice mix. And if you don't have the mix, you could just make your own, just mix up nutmeg, cinnamon, ginger and cloves. And when the whole thing has fermented, I'm going to mix it up with some maple syrup, just two tablespoons of maple syrup. But that's optional. I think it tastes a bit a bit nicer with it, but it's completely optional. You also need a Kilner jar. So I measured up the salt and I'm going to mix that together with the filtered water. So that's our brine that we really need to keep the pumpkin submerged in, in this water. Now I'm just cutting up the pumpkin and I'm just going to remove the skin and then I'm going to let it go through the food processor because I'm too lazy, but you can just use a hand grater if you want. We put it all in a mixing bowl. And then I put the black tea in and the pumpkin Pie, pumpkin pie spice mix and then okay and now in a sterilized filling jar I'm going to start pressing in keep it really tight then we need the water the brine Mix it really well, so because otherwise you might end up with too little salt. And then, you know, the vegetable needs to be covered by salt at all times. And also, you need to leave a little bit of room for expansion. For this one, I'm going to use these pebbles to keep the pumpkin submerged at all times. Put it on the kitchen counter and after three days I would taste a little bit uh, to see if it's done its thing otherwise wait till five days four or five days and after that it should be sort of good when you feel it's all done you can mix it up with some maple uh, you could just mix it up with some maple syrup I do because I use this a little bit more like a jam and um, then just put it in the fridge, make sure it's sort of submerged and you can keep it in there for a really long time. Yeah, I hope you liked that video. Please like and subscribe and I will see you next week. Happy Halloween and I'm going to let my new toy play you out. Uh, it's beyond annoying according to some people but I quite like it.